loss, but the way you played for a set and a half, is it mm. the best you've done since, since a while now? I don't know, I think I played well for a set and, and a half, then I think he played well the last, uh, I played a bad, bad game with my serve in the 3-2 and then he finished playing well now, the last two games he played at high level, so I had my chances in the first set, I felt for a moment that I was uh, competing at the highest level possible and uh, um, at the beginning of the tiebreak and at the end of the first set with some low 15 that I had, I made a few mistakes with my forehand, so that's the only thing. Um, I believe that li with a little bit more of uh, confidence with my forehand at the end of that first set will be a better chance. How much did you feel, I guess, that the, all the matches you had won this week coming into that match, coming into this match, helped your confidence, especially at the start of the match? Well, my confidence was uh, was good when somebody's playing well. That like I was playing, so you go on court and you think that you can you can play well again. No? So that's important for me. Be confident with myself on court, and I did. I think for for a lot of moments, and uh, I think the game, uh, you know, the game was very close, but the way that the way that I was uh, playing, I think, was a little bit more mm, tactical. Was a little bit more the way that I need to play against Novak than than what happened the, the last couple of times that we played so quick and uh, hitting so hard the ball. Then probably he's better than than nobody in terms of rhythm. Well, I think I I played well during the during the week. I won uh, very interesting matches, um, good ones, fighting. Uh, today was closer than than the last couple of times against the best player of the world. So it was a very positive week for me, and as that's the the way. I want to try to follow this way to to keep going with this level and if I'm able to play weeks in a row uh, at this level then you start to think about the chances to, to compete for everything. So everybody is frustrated. Yeah. Um, uh, the life is not only about um, one opponent, and the life is not only about uh, losing matches against one player. And was frustrated in 2011. Is too that I was playing a lot of finals against him that I lost like six during the whole year because I was able to win against the rest of the players and not against him. But uh, for the last year and a half, the, the, the story is different. So I was not competing all the time <laughs> against him. I was competing against much more players and I was not uh, ready, I think, to, to believe that I, I can uh, compete at highest level against, against Novak. Uh, but... Mm, in the last, uh, I don't know, six events that I played, maybe six, seven events, I was able to play against him in Beijing, play against him in London, play against him in Doha, and now here. So if I play against him, it's because I am in semifinals and finals. So that's a very positive news. Uh, before that, I was not able to play against him during almost the whole season. So the real thing is, if I play against him, even if I lose, is a great news. <laughs> With Milos, is a different story because um, Milos have the serve. So Novak is a great return, 
but has a great return. But when somebody serves like this and have two opportunities every time, first and second serve, if he serves well, Novak will not have the break. So we're going to go to the tie break and we'll see what's going on. That's the real thing. So if Milos serves well, he can win against everybody. No, it's uh, different moments, uh, different moments on the career of everyone. And um, I think um, Roger was very, very dominant for a couple of years. Then when I arrived, I think he was still dominant, but he has somebody there. Then arrived Novak too. And when I was dominant, I have more than one. <laughs> you know, I have no Novak, I have Roger, I have Andy, and then uh, during the moments that I was dominant, I had uh, some tough periods of time that I had chances to continue being dominant, and I couldn't. Like 2012, that I was playing. Great, I get injury like 2009 that I was playing great and I get injury of my knees. And in 2014 that I was playing well and I was number one in the race that I break it to my, my wrist in the, in the summer. So after that, uh, Novak already had been dominant before that, but after that always he was more dominant. You know, Novak was there all the time, never had any injury, so always he was waiting for for his moment, and when finally arrived his moment, uh, he he doesn't let go, you know, um, without getting injury and uh, having the level that he has, it's so difficult to stop him. Final question. You said you were talking about uh, Novak working on his game. How do you think over the past period, past few years, his, his game has been? I don't know. No, I think um, he's um, an amazing player and an amazing player with a high level of confidence that makes uh, so difficult to stop him. No, when Roger was at uh, his highest level and with the highest level of confidence too, it was so difficult to stop him. And I think for me it was a little bit similar. No, when when I was playing my best and I was uh, at the highest level of confidence, I think I was dominant too. So for him, now is what's going on. Uh, he feels that he's probably better than the rest. And at the same time, nothing bothers him. No, no, not, not happened, happened to me. Uh, and the real thing is he's a very complex player because he's able to play great in all the suit phrases. So just congrats to him.